Tired of constantly repairing or replacing those inlet outlet valves on your blast pot? Maybe concerned that guillotine pinch valve technology that protects your operators looks more 1822 than 2022? This primed inside addresses these concerns and as a bonus, can also help increase your blasting efficiency, safety, and profitability. Coming up next. Welcome to this week's Primed Insight. Remember this sound? That's the sound of the internet back in the 1990s, before cable and wireless routers. You connected your phone to a modem and waited patiently for the data to slowly drip into your computer screen. It was tedious, but no one really complained because we all just assumed this is the way it had to be. These inlet, outlet, and pinch valves might as well sound like this. If you're still using these, we're gonna assume it's because you didn't realize their tedious inefficiencies are not the only option. In fact, in 2022, they're the worst options. They're slow, wasteful, and dangerous. These outdated valves are big money makers for the spare parts business also, because they were literally designed to wear out. The fact you're constantly needing to repair and replace them should help validate our claim. Full disclosure, Blast One does sell these, not because we like them, but because so many contractors still use them. But our brand promise is to promote superior equipment and these are far from it. They cost you 15 to 20 PSI, 22 to 30% efficiency. As mentioned, they're designed to wear out. They take nearly 30 seconds for each startup and shutdown, which is just wasting abrasive and on the shutdown, is dangerous to your operators. In other words, you're getting this when what you really want is 5G. Let's start with first principles. A dead man has two primary functions. Shut off the air supply and shut off the abrasive entering that air supply. The quicker this is done, the safer it is for your operators. The less abrasive is wasted, the more efficient your whole system. So what's the latest and greatest 5G level of dead man technology? Let's begin with Three, rules of thumb. First, a single valve will always be faster and more efficient than two valves. Second, if your project allows for it, electric is always faster than pneumatic. And third, pressure hold pots are more efficient at shutting off air and abrasive than pressure release ever will be. So if you're looking for the very best, a system that increases your efficiency, safety, and profitability, you can do no better than the following. An electric relay system paired with the Terra valve. Now in certain circumstances, the Thompson 2 metering valve would be recommended over the Terra valve. And if you're interested in knowing when and why, we'll link to this Primed Insight at the end of this video. Now it's pretty easy to get from where you currently are to an electric Terra valve setup. For those needing a complete overhaul, we offer a Terra valve retrofit kit with electric dead band. This conversion will update your blast pot to the latest and greatest technology that will improve your pressure, save you 10% in abrasive cost, and better protect your operators from an accident or mishap. For blast pots already having a Terra valve, we offer a simple pneumatic to electric dead man conversion kit. And for those with an electric dead man but needing the Terra valve, we can take care of that as well. Here's the biggest takeaway. If owning a flip phone, was provably more dangerous than owning an iPhone, if it costs more in terms of long distance calls, your monthly bill, replacement batteries, and electric chargers, if it needed to be frequently repaired and it dropped more calls or provided shoddy service, would you still stick with it? That's exactly what's happening by sticking with these outdated technologies. They are costing you more money and are riskier to the safety of your workers. If you're interested in blasting efficiency, safety, and profitability, well, it's time to upgrade. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. <laughs>